Today, what you are going to see is arithmetic progression and geometric progression. So, what is arithmetic progression? So, arithmetic progression is one where the series you have where the difference between the two numbers which are next to each other will have the same difference. For example, here the first number of it is 2 and next number is 5. The difference between 5 and 2 is 3. Same difference you can see here 8 and 5 the difference is 3. Similarly, 11 and 8 difference is 3 and so on. So, if you have numbers of this kind of, if you have a series of this kind, then it is called arithmetic progression. Considering the first one as A1, the second number is A2, you can write in terms of A1 by saying that A2 is equal to A1 plus 3 and this 3 is what? That is a difference between the two numbers. So, let us consider this difference as D. So, therefore, here I can replace this 3 by D. So, A1 plus D is going to be A2. Similarly, when I go to A3, this A3 can be written as the A2 whatever you have plus the difference. So, this is A2 plus the difference. And again, in the second step you have A2 equals A1 plus D. So, you can replace that here. This A2 I can replace by A1 plus D. Already you have one more D here. So, this becomes A1 plus 2D. Now, you can see this 2. That is A3 is written as A1 plus 2D. And in the similar way when you go for A4, A4 is A3 plus D. Or in terms of this A1 if I have to write, A3 can be replaced by A1 plus 2D plus D which is equal to A1 plus 3D. So, you can see this A1 we have written as the A1 direct whereas A2 is written as A1 plus D and A3 is written as A1 plus 2D, A4 is written as A1 plus 3D. So, from this you can see that if this uh, second term A2 you are just considering this a first term plus one difference that is D. When you consider A3, it is A1 plus 2D or A4 is equal to A1 plus 3D, one less than this number. So, you can just say A n will be equal to A1 plus one less than this number that is n minus 1 D. So, this is the formula which you have for the arithmetic progression. So, now using this formula, let us find out the values. For example, A5 is 14. So, A5 as per the formula, what you have is A5 equals A1 plus N minus 1D. So, A1 plus what is N here? This is 5. So, this is 5 minus 1 and D is given as 3. Where D is equal to 3 here, the difference between the two numbers. So, that 3 will come here. And what is A1? A1 is given as 2. So, you can replace this A1 by 2. So, this is 2 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 into 3 or 2 plus 12 which is 14. So, you are seeing that here A5 is 14. So, this is the nth term. So, nth term formula is A n equal to A1 plus n minus 1 d. So, we will go for the sum of the terms. Sum of the term formula is S n equals n by 2 into a1 plus a n. That is the first term plus the last term we have to add and find the average of that into the n, the number of terms. So, here if you have to find out this 2 to 14, what is the sum? 2 to 14, the number of terms are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there are 5 terms. So, therefore, n equal to 5 and the d is equal to 3, A1 equals 2 and A5 equals 14. So, here this S5, the nth term is 5, is equal to 5 by 2, A1 is 2 plus A5 is 14. 5 by 2, 
into 16 or you can say this 8 into 5 is 40. So, you can just count here and see 11 plus 14 is 25, 25 plus 5 is 30 and this is 40. So, total is 40. But this formula which is used n by 2 into a1 plus a n. If the nth term is not given, even for that also you can find out. Because this a n, you know that a n is equal to, as for the formula given earlier, it is a1 plus n minus 1 d. So, you can make use of that and derive this. So, the same formula s n can be written as n by 2 a1 plus and a n I can replace this as a1 plus n minus 1 d. So, therefore, this is n by 2 this a1 plus a1 is 2 a1 plus n minus 1 d. Let us again apply and find out the 5 terms what is the sum using this formula. So, this is n equal to 5 this is s5 by 2 2 times of a1 and a1 is given as 2 plus n is again 5 minus 1 and d is given as 3. So, this is 4 and here again you have 4 into 3 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16, 16 by 2 is 8 into 5 again you get 40, you get the same answer. Hence the arithmetic series can be written in this way, if the first term is a, then the second term will be a plus d, this is a1 and this is a2 and third term be written as a plus 2d. With respect to the first term we are writing it, so a plus 2d and this is the third term, fourth term is a plus 3d, fourth term and so far you can just write this last term as a plus n minus 1d for the nth term. As you can see that if it is a fourth term you are getting 3 here, if it is third term you are getting 2 here, therefore the nth term will be 1 less than n, n minus 1d.